Welcome to the Sure Software video tutorial series. My name is Scott Weber, and today I'm going to show you how to do batch file transcoding using Handbrake 0.9.8. So let's get to it. The first thing you're going to notice if you've used previous versions of Handbrake is that it has a few new presets for new Apple and Android devices. And since I use Apple TV, I'm going to go ahead and select Apple TV 3 for my preset. And now I'm ready to do some transcoding. So if you look over in the upper left hand corner, see the button for source, go ahead and click that and click on the folder selection and you'll see the select folder window pops up and here's where you're going to want to go ahead and find your video library go ahead and select it over here and scroll down and find the folder of the files that you want to transcode go ahead and select the most evil men and women in history so select the folder and click on the select folder button and give handbrake a minute to go ahead and process your files you'll see it processing where it says source up here if you want to double check and make sure that handbrake has all of your episodes in there just go ahead and select the title box here and I can see that all 16 episodes are in there so now uh, in previous versions of handbrake in order to add a single file to queue you would just go ahead and click the add to queue button up here but if you notice on the right hand side it now has an arrow that you can select so if you click on that arrow give you an option to add all. So I want to go ahead and select that. You get a warning, are you about to add all titles to the queue? Current settings will be applied for all 16 titles. I'm sure you want to do this, go ahead and select yes. And now if I go up here and select show queue, you can see that all of your titles are in the queue now, ready to be encoded. So now all you have to do is go ahead and select encode and let Handbrake do the rest. I hope this video was helpful and saved you a lot of time in transcoding a large video library like it has myself. And for additional video tutorials, go ahead and stop by SureSoftware.com. Thank you.